MCQs on general financial rules 2017. Sell a video request inquire about the reasons for rejection or non issuance of a tender to a prospective bidder. Is it mandatory to disclose the reasons? Option A yes, option B no, option C optional, option D discretion of the procuring authority. Answer is yes. Question number 2. What is the maximum period of deferment of a bidder under section 151, section 1 of the GFR? Option A 2 years, option B 5 years, option C 3 years, option D none of the above. Answer is 3 years. Question number 3. How many tour advances shall be allowed to remain outstanding at a time? Option A 2, Option B no limit prescribed, Option C 1, Option D 3, answer is Option A 2. Question number 4, when will bid securities be refunded to the unsuccessful bidders? Option A, on or before the 45th day after the award of the contract. Option B on or before the 15 day after the award of the contract. Option C on or before the 13 day after the award of the contract. Option D none of the above. Answer is Option C on or before the 13 day after the award of the contract. Question number 5. Which rule of the GFR deals with the time bared claim of government servant? Rule number 20, 296. Option B, rule number 299. Option C, rule number 298. Option D, none of the above. Answer is rule number 296. Which item will not come under the purview of the definition of goods? Furniture, fixtures, and raw materials. Option B, vehicles, aircraft ships. Option C, intangible products like software, patent. Option D books, publications, periodicals. Answer is option D books, publications, periodicals. Question number seven. When shall overtime allowance claims to stand forfeited if not submitted within? Option A if not submitted within 60 days of the due date. Option B if not submitted within 45 days of the due date. Option C, if not submitted within 30 days of the due date. Option D, 90 days of the due date. Answer is Option A, if not submitted within 60 days of the due date. Under what circumstances is the interest not chargeable on the outstanding balance of interest bearing advance sanctions to a government servant? Option A on resignation from the government service. Option B on superannuation. Option C on termination from the government service. Option D beyond the date of the government servant. Answer is Option D beyond the date of the government servant. In case of default, what is the penal interest chargeable for advance regulated under rules 39 to 84 of Compendium of Rules of Advances Option A 2% over the interest rate on provident fund balances Option B 4% over the interest rate on provident fund balances Option C 2.5% over the interest rate on the provident fund balances Option D 3% over the interest rate on provident fund balances Answer is option A 2% over the interest rate on provident fund balances. How many methods are there in the process of obtaining bids? Option A 3, option B 4, option C 5, option D 6. Answer is option C 5. Question number 11. From the following sentences, find the eligibility and conditions for the grant of TA. To non-official members committees 
option a can be sent on after the receipt of a written undertaking cannot be sent on the second advances until the first one is adjusted option c in exceptional cases where is difficult to meet the cost of long and expensive journey option d all of this answer is all of this question number 12 what is the percentage of beach equity required to be furnished by bidders in the case of a limited or advertised tender inquiry option a 2 to 5 percent option b 4 to 7 percent option c 1 to 3 percent option d none of the above answer is option a 2 to 5 percent question number 13 what does qcbs stand for Option A, Quality Contract Bid Selection. Option B, Quality Conscious Bid Selection. Option C, Quality and Cost Based Selection. Option D, None of the above. Answer is Option C, Quality and Cost Based Selection. Question number 14, What is the maximum amount of LTC advance admissible to a government servant? Option A, 90% of the estimated cost of journeys both ways. Option B, 85% of the estimated cost of journeys both ways. Option C, 50% of the estimated cost of journeys both ways. Option D, 75% of the estimated cost of journeys both ways. Answer is Option A, 90% of the estimated cost of journeys both ways. Question number 15. A report of transfer of gazetted government servant is made in Option A, GFR. 16 option b gfr 15 option c gfr 18 option d gfr 18 answer is option a gfr 16 question number 16 in a two bit system what are the two bits technical bits dynamic bits financial bit online bit option a 2 and 4 only option b 2 and 3 option c 1 and 3 option d none of the above answer is c one and three technical bit and financial bit question number 17 what is the estimated value of the goods to be procured for which invitation to tenders can be made by advertisement a rupees 25 lakhs and above b 15 lakhs and above c 30 lakhs and above option d none of the above answer is option a 25 lakhs and above question number 18 i defend the document that does not form part of a request for proposal option a letter of invitation option b proposed list of potential consultant option c b devaluation criteria option d terms of reference answer is proposed list of potential consultant question number 19 what is the period of Retention of service book of official entitled to retirement terminal benefit. Option A 3 years after the issue of final pension gratuity. 2 years after the issue of final pension gratuity. Option C 4 years after the issue of final pension gratuity. Option D 5 years after the issue of final pension gratuity. Answer is 3 years after the issue of final pension gratuity. Question number 20. When will a sanction of provident fund advance withdrawal lapse? Option A on the expiry of 3 months. Option B on the expiry of five months. Option C on the expiry of four months. Option D on the expiry of six months. Answer is option A on the expiry of three months. Question number 21. What is the period necessity for re audit in respect of central and state government for the past transaction involving errors in classification? Option A five years. Option B two years. Option C three years. Option D one years. Answer is option C three years. Question number 22. Which bid is open fastly by the mini ministry in two bid system? Option A, any one bid. Option B, financial bid. Option C, both should be open simultaneously. Option D, technical bid. Answer is technical bid. Question number 23. In case of libraries having not more than 20,000 volumes, complete physical verification of books should be done once in Option A, five years. Option B, one years. Option C, two years. Option D, three years. Answer is one year. 
question number 24 an area claim of a government servant shall be settled by the ddo if preferred within option a one year of its becoming due option b three years of it becoming due option c four years of its becoming due option d two years of its becoming due answer is option d two years of its becoming due what is the limit up to which a duly constituted financial committee lpc can purchase goods on its occasion option a three lakhs option b two lakh fifty thousand option c two lakh seventy five thousand option d five lakhs answer is option b two lakh fifty thousand what is the time limit for submission of ltc claim after the completion of the return journey when ltc advance is drawn option a within 45 days option b within 20 days option c within 15 days option d within 30 days answer is option d within 30 days question 27 what is the cost charged to download tender documents option a one percent of the cost estimated b value of bank guarantee c no cost d 10 percent of the cost estimated answer is option c no cost question number 28 what is the limit up to which a ministry department may directly execute repair works option a 50 lakhs option b 30 lakhs option c 60 lakhs option d 40 lakhs answer is option b 30 lakhs question number 29 in a qcbc quality and cost based selection what is the highest weightage allowed for technical parameter option 80 percent option b 50 percent option c 70 percent option d 60 percent answer is option a 80 percent question number 30 state the monetary limit up to which any loss of immovable property by fire flood attracts can be reported by a subordinate authority to the next higher authority up to option a 5 lakhs option b 50,000 option c 1 lakh option d 2 lakh 50,000 answer is option b 50,000 Thank you for watching.